Welcome to our training on a content. After a brand enrolls in Amazon Brand Registry, one of the first tools it should consider using is the a Content Manager. This tool lets brands upgrade the product descriptions on their detail pages with enriched text, images, videos, and other media. It can also be used to create a From the Brand section that includes images, text, and links to other products. By adding these types of a content to their listings, brands help products stand out and capture a customer's attention. a content is also an opportunity to answer common customer questions, and it can encourage repeat purchases and increase sales. Let's find out how to create a content and how to add it to one or more product detail pages in a brand's catalog. Before we get started, it's important to note that a content can only be added to products that are part of a brand enrolled in Brand Registry. The seller adding a content also needs to have a professional selling account and be either internal to the brand or a reseller who has been associated with the brand. The only exceptions are for sellers participating in certain managed programs like Amazon Launchpad and Amazon Exclusives. If you'd like more information about brand registry and access to brand selling benefits like a content, see the series of modules in our Seller University course, Launch Your Brand in the Amazon Store. It's also important to note that a content can't be created for products in the books, music, video, and DVD categories. Note, too, that sellers who want to add videos to the main image block of a product detail page should use the Manage Videos tool in Seller Central instead of the a content manager. If you meet the requirements for a content, you can access the tool anytime by hovering over Advertising in the main menu in Seller Central, then clicking a content manager. On the a content manager page, you'll see a list of a content you've already created for your brand. To begin creating new content, click the Start Creating a Content button, which will take you to a page where you can select an a content type. Select Basic if you want to create a product description with up to seven modules. Those modules can include your brand logo, a variety of text and image placements, and charts for product comparisons and technical specifications. Select Brand Story if you want to create a From the Brand section for your detail pages with up to 19 modules arranged in a clickable carousel. Those modules can include your brand logo and description, images, Q&A lists, and product links. Some sellers will also see an option to create premium a content. This option allows you to create a product description with up to seven modules. Those modules can include a variety of placements with text and larger images, enhanced charts for product comparisons and technical specifications, standalone videos, clickable carousels for multiple images or videos, Q&A lists, and interactive hotspots. You'll see the option to create premium a content if you meet two basic requirements. First, you need to have already published Brand Story on all ASINs you have brand rights for in the relevant country-based store. Second, you need to have at least 15 pieces of basic a content approved for publication in that store within the last year. As you're selecting the type of a content you want to create, basic, premium, or brand story, make sure you also keep two considerations in mind. One, publishing an a content product description, whether basic or premium, hides a product's original plain text description. So be sure to carry over all key information. Two, vendors associated with an enrolled brand are also able to add a content to product detail pages in a From the Manufacturer section. In most cases, pre-existing a content from a vendor will prevent a seller from submitting a content. Vendor a content may also be published as a replacement for seller a content to help prevent redundant or conflicting information. 
After selecting Basic, Premium, or Brand Story as your a content type, you'll be brought to a new page where you'll assemble your content. You'll use the same basic process for each content type. Start by entering a name for your a content, which will help you identify it later. Then select a language based on your customer. Next, click the Add Module button and select a module type. Repeat this step until you've populated the tool with each module type you'd like to include. Now you're ready to add text, images, and video. You don't need to use every field or image placement in a module, but we recommend pairing images with text as often as possible. We also recommend previewing your work as you build a content so you can see how it'll look on both desktop and mobile. If you'd like to pause your work and complete it later, you can save it as a draft. When adding text to a content, make sure you use correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation. And avoid using all caps and unnecessary italics or bolding. Make sure you also support any recent awards or endorsements that you mention, and don't include claims like top-rated or best-selling. Also, text placements can't include warranty or guarantee information, pricing, promotional or shipping details, hyperlinks, QR codes, or directions to other web pages, or contact information. To add an image to your a content, simply click an empty placement, then drag and drop a new image into the pop-up. Or click the camera icon to select an image from your existing asset library. Your library will include images you previously uploaded to the a Content Manager, as well as images you uploaded to other brand-specific tools like sponsored brands. If your chosen image is too large, the a Content Manager will resize it automatically. Be sure to avoid low-resolution or animated images. If you upload a new image to the a Content Manager, you'll need to enter alt text or image keywords that describes it for customers who are visually impaired. For example, person swinging a golf club. To add a video to your premium a Content, click an empty placement. Then, in the pop-up, click the first Browse button to select and upload your MP4. Click the second Browse button to select a thumbnail for your video. You'll also enter a video title to identify the asset internally and a video description that appears for customers who are visually impaired. When you finish drafting your a Content, check it against the full set of a Content guidelines in Seller Central. Remember that you won't be able to edit your content while it's under review by Amazon. Checking it first can help avoid a failed submission. Now you're ready to proceed to the final step, applying ASINs. Start by searching for the ASINs you want to add your a Content to. You can enter one or more in the search bar separated by a comma or space. The tool will display the product title of an ASIN you enter or the title of its parent product. Click the product title and the product will appear below in a new section. If it's a parent product, you can click the arrow next to variations to see a full list of child products. Deselect any ASIN in a product family if you don't want your a content to appear on its product detail page. After reviewing all the ASINs in the list, click the Apply Content button to assign them your a content. You can repeat this process for up to 1,000 products within your brand, applying the same a content across products and product families or you can use our bulk upload feature to apply your content to up to 500,000 ASINs at a time with a spreadsheet. Just enter your ASINs in a single column. No other information is needed. After you've assigned ASINs to your content, you'll review and submit it to Amazon. It'll usually be reviewed within seven business days, and you can check its status from the a Content Manager page. After content is approved, it'll usually appear in the Amazon store within 24 hours, though large amounts of content may take longer. If a piece of a content is rejected, click its name to view the reason. 
Then click the Edit button on its Details page to make changes. After editing, resubmit the content to Amazon. You can also click the ASINs tab on a Content Details page, then click the Edit button to adjust the ASINs assigned to a piece of A-plus content. If you'd like to use existing a content as a template for new content, click the Actions drop-down menu on its Details page and select Duplicate. Use this feature to create related a content for different ASINs or to recreate a content for the same ASINs in a different language. This concludes our training on a content. If you'd like to learn how to test and optimize a content, see our Seller University video series on the Manager Experiments tool. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.